y'all what's up it's your girl aisha g and thank you for coming back to my channel so today honey i have a very special video for you so i want to do a tutorial just to let you guys know how i edit i'm still a beginner at this editing thing and i definitely taught myself using youtube so i wanted to give somebody else a video that they could use so that they could learn to edit their own videos it's not as hard as people think it is it's not as difficult so I'm going to try to make this video as simple and easy as possible. I want you guys to follow along. If you're not able to follow along, just pause it and try again or rewind it if you have to. Like, you know, you may not get it on the first try, so you may have to watch this video a few times. I'll try to make it as simple as possible so that you can get it. If you're new here, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're a returning subby, hey y'all, <laughs> how you doing? Thank you for watching my video again and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that honey, all that. So let's get right into the video. So I have my phone here and I'll be, you know, doing things on my phone and I'll sh make sure I share it with you guys. So the apps that I use to edit my videos is iMovie and PixArt. Those are the two that I use the most. I do use other apps, but those are the two that I use the most. Is I'm going to record a video to, that we'll be using inside this video so that I can show you guys how I edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my camera app and I'm going to record this video. Uh oh. Look, this is behind the scenes. That was an accident, but hey, this is what I'll be looking like, y'all. So it's a long story about why I'm recording. I have my camera on this saran wrap. It's a long story. And if y'all want that story, let me know. All right, so I'm gonna record this video. Hey y'all, what's up? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's your girl Aisha G, and I love y'all for watching. See you later. So I just recorded this video, and I'm going to add it to iMovie. All right, so this is the video that I'm gonna be recording with. So I'm gonna go to iMovie, create a new project, a new movie. You don't wanna do a trailer, you're gonna do a movie. And I'm gonna add the video that I just, that I just recorded. Just tap it and create movie at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a green screen to this video and I think I'm just going to say Aisha G because that's my name. So, but you can put whatever you would like. There is a way that you can add your text right from iMovie, but I personally don't use that because the only way that you can add text, like it's either going to be right in front of your face, like right in the center of the video, or it's going to be right under. It's not, you really can't place it where you want to place it. So what I do is I go to PixArt. The Pix Art app. The ads, y'all, they got ads. Just press the X. And then what you're gonna do, when you get to this screen, you're gonna press the purple plus at the bottom, and that's just gonna meet, that's me, that means like add, you're gonna add something. So what I do is I go all the way down to the bottom where it says color backgrounds, and I'll, if this is your first time using the app, you have to scroll over to to the right, scroll to the right. I think that's how you do it. Anyway, you have to scroll over and there'll be two green, um, two green ones right by each other, but because I use this, the green screen frequently, it's right here at the front. So you're gonna, there's two green ones. So there's the darkest one right here and there's the lighter one right here. You're always gonna go for the darker one. So you're gonna go for the darker green so when the background comes up, you're gonna use the tools button to crop. This, the background that's on the screen right now, it's way too big to be used in the iMovie. So you're gonna resize this background to fit the screen in iMovie. So you're gonna use, use the tools button and then crop the first one in the top left. 
And at the top, you'll see 3464 by 3464. That's what the background is. Now, you're going to resize it by clicking the numbers. And you're going to resize it to 1280 by 720. Click OK. And it's going to resize for you. You're going to then click the Apply button in the top right-hand corner and it'll resize your background for you. From there, I said that I was gonna use Aisha G. So what I wanna do is I want Aisha to pop up first and I want G to pop up on the other side. So I'm gonna scroll over to text and then I'm gonna type in my first name, Aisha, and I'm gonna click the plus, I mean the check, and I resize it and put it wherever I want to. This can move all around the screen. Unlike iMovie and PixArt, you can move the text all around. So wherever you want to move it to, that's you want to do it. Like I said, I want Aisha to pop up on one side and I want G to pop up on the other side. So I'm gonna put Aisha here and I'll just like rotate a little bit, you know. And then I like to change my font Let's see, let's see, which font am I going to use? Honestly, my very, 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 very favorite font on iMovie is six caps. I love this cap, I love this font, it's so cute. So let's use it. So we're gonna use Aisha right here. And then also what I like to do is I like to, you see that the words are not, they don't have like a border around them or you know anything. So in order to make them, to give them the little outline, that there you go, not word, outline. In order to give my words the outline that I want, I'm gonna click stroke at the bottom, it's the T. And then you can change the color of your outline. So I'm gonna use the purple one today. And also, if I wanted to change the color of the actual letters, I could go to color and it will change the color. So just to show you guys how it works, I'll use, I'll use that. Uh-oh, I don't know. I need a color that I'm gonna remember. Um, I'll use this peach at the, at the end. So we have the stroke of this second purple and we have the color of the peach at the end. So that's what I'm gonna use for my, so that's what I'm gonna use for my name and I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna click next. I don't know what this is, go back. Oh, okay, so what happens is This is new. This, they must have just like updated this app maybe a couple days ago because I've never seen this, but we're gonna learn it together. So obviously you go to, I guess you just go to download photo and then yeah, and I guess that's it. Usually what I do is I just um, click the, uh, I mean the done or whatever and it'll have a tab to say save photo and then I click the save photo. But this is new so I'm hoping that it'll do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just to check it out, I'm going to go to my photos and make sure it's there. Recent and yep, there it is. So I'm going to use this, I'm going to go back to my PixArt app and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to press the purple plus, but this time, instead of making a whole new background at the bottom, I'm gonna use the same picture that I used before. The picture's already resized, it already has my first letter on it, and because I want them to pop up like one by one, I'm gonna use the same picture. So it has Aisha on this side, and I want G on the other side. So I'm gonna scroll over and add text, and it's gonna be G-E-E, -E. click the plug, I mean click the check. I'm gonna resize it and position it to where I want it to be. As I did in the first, 
and with the word Aisha, I'm going to scroll over to my font. My font is six caps. And of course you can use whichever font you would like, but this is what I like. So I have it all resized and positioned where I want it to be. I'm gonna put the stroke the stroke was the second purple, and then the color was the last little peach color. And I just wanna check it out, make sure it's exactly what I want. Let's move it up just a little. Okay, and then I'm gonna apply. So, let's save it download all right so now if i go to my photos i have two i have two pictures one just says aisha and one just one says aisha g and that's exactly how i wanted it because i wanted them both to pop up separately so i'm gonna go to iMovie and i'm gonna now add the green screens to my video So I want to bring my green screens up to where it says Aisha G. So I'm going to add, if you're looking at this screen right here, you see the plus sign on the left hand side. You're going to click the plus and go to moments or you can go to photos. Let's try photos. Recently added and you're going to add the one where it only has Aisha. Well, your first, you know. I'm gonna add the text that only has Aisha. So if I press the plus, it's gonna give me the full picture in the video. Let me show you what I mean. You see, and I don't want that. I don't want it. That's not what I want. So because that's not what I want, I'm just gonna click and delete. So I'm gonna go back to the spot where I want to add my first green screen and it's going to be right about there where I just started saying Aisha and I'm going to press the plus in the left hand corner click the green screen photo that you want to add and click the three dots not the plus the three dots and you're going to go down to green slash blue screen and there you go So, because it's going to like make it really long and I don't want it really long. So, I'm going to resize it. So, how you resize a green screen or any clip in iMovie, you just click on the, you click on the clip and it will turn yellow and you just resize it. You can, you can make it as short as you want, you can make it as long as you want and that's just how you do it. So, let's see. And it's still too long for me because remember we still have the other clip to add in. Your so this that's that's about I mean that's that's fine for me. I wanted to say Aisha G, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my other um I'm gonna go ahead and add in my other green screen. So I'm gonna click the plus sign again, and this time add in the second one where it has Aisha G. Three dots, green slash blue stop, green slash blue screen, and I'm gonna resize that because I already know that I don't want it that long. Let's see. That's perfect. That is perfect. All right, so that's how I add my green screens. And I also want to show you guys one more thing. With the green screens using PixArt, you can always add stickers. So, um, let's see, let's see, discard. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So you go to PixArt, the plus. Anytime you're using like PixArt for iMovie, you always want to Click 
especially a green screen or any I mean any color you can it don't have to be only it don't have to only be a green screen it could be any color background so you can use any of these backgrounds and you have to always resize it to 1280 by 720 in order for it to fit the screen of the iMovie or whatever you're using so I'm gonna add another green screen and I'm gonna resize it using the tools button then crop at the top, I'm going to resize it to 1280 by 720. Click OK. Apply. And this time, instead of using the text, I'm going to use. Uh oh, that was a. Instead of using the text, I'm going to use sticker. I'm going to add a sticker. So I'm gonna go back to this video and see what type of sticker I would like to add. Hey y'all, what's up? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's say, let's see if they have subscribe. I don't know. I'm not sure if they have subscribe. Let me see. Oh, they do. So I'm gonna, ooh, they do. I didn't know that, I just learned this. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna use the subscribe, um, in case you missed it, let me go back. So I added the sticker and it, in order to just search a sticker, all you do is literally search the sticker. So you click the sticker button at the top, you type in whatever you want and I already clicked subscribe button, which I didn't know was on here. So I just learned that and that's so cool. Cause I did, a, I used to do a whole long process of adding a subscribe button. So now I don't have to do that and I just do it right here. So add a subscribe button and I like, I like this one. The one, the purple one over to the right, I like that one. So I'm gonna use that. And I think that, I kinda wanna just write over me, like right in front of my body or my face. So I'm gonna just push, position it right there. And I'm gonna say apply. Next, save, download or save. And now I'll go back to iMovie and I'm gonna add the green screen subscribe button right into my video where I say hit the subscribe button. Um, make sure you subscribe. Or subscribe. Um, make sure you subscribe. So I'm gonna position, position the video right where I want the green screen to go. I'm gonna press the Plus button, uh oh, where'd it go? Why didn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna press the plus button and the recently added photos. Of course, you click the photo that you want, the green screen, green photo, and you're gonna click the three buttons, the three dots, and add green screen at the bottom. Green slash full screen. So, it naturally will put the green screen right next to the other ones. So you just hold it down and drag it to where you think it'll go. Hey y'all, what's up? Make sure you subscribe. Too far, so I'm gonna do it here. Hey y'all, what's up? Make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And you 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 can also always resize your green screen if it's too long or too short just click it make it yellow and drag it down how short you want it how long you want it whatever and i wanted to keep going until it says subscribe to my channel All right, so now, hey, this is what it looks like. So now this is what my video looks like. Hey, and just because I'm, right now, like that's basically the end of the tutorial, but just because I'm extra, I'm going to, uh-oh, Fashion Nova, chill out. Um, that's basically the end of my video, but just because I'm extra, I'm gonna add one more, and this time I'm not gonna talk 
through it. I'm just going to do it so you guys can see. I want to add something at the end because I feel like it's very dead and there's nothing here. So I want to say like something like bye or peace or see ya or something like that. So I'm going to just go back to the pics art. My apps. I got a lot of apps so sometimes I don't know where they at. So I'm just going to do it. Green screen, tools, crop, 1280 by 720, okay, apply, and I'm going to use a sticker, and I'm going to type in like, see ya or bye, see ya, and I like this one over here to the right, I'm going to click it. Resize it to the way I want it, and I'm going to put it over here to the right at the bottom. And if I want to do a border, I could, you know. So let's just do a border for this one. There we go. I like that border. And I'll just apply it next. Save. Download photo. And it saves my photos, click done, go back to iMovie, and go to the end, and I think the see you later. I want it right here. Plus, recently added three dots, green slash blue screen, resize, and there we go. video let's play the video right you know let's play the video back to see how it looks now and that's it guys I hope that you learned something from this video and I hope that I taught you something like I said I learned everything that I know about editing from YouTube I want to make a video to teach somebody else or to help somebody else out on their journey of learning how to edit I'm not a professional I'm learning more and more every day and I appreciate all the videos that you guys put out so this is my way of giving back thank you for watching my video make sure you like comment subscribe share this video with anybody who wants to learn more about editing or how to add green screens and I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned so much again my name is Aisha G make sure you come back to my channel subscribe 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 do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any more videos of that I put out Thank you for watching. See y'all later.